All right, hello. Um, I'm Rufino, and I guess this is my first um, tutorial. Well, guys, tutorial. I'm gonna do behind the scenes for Ostrov. Uh, basically, what I want to do today is make it so have this little thing that the players can go up to, uh, get prompted. Uh, hey, you found something. Press F to pick it up, and then once you pick it up, you add it to your um, to your inventory that we've created. So I'm going to start off by adding um, proximity trigger. So over here in entity, triggers over here, I always forget where it is, there it is. And I'm going to just drag it on to here. I don't like where it's placed. There's a cool trick where if you hold control shift and then click somewhere, you snap it to the spot. So I'm going to snap it here. Uh, I'm going to call it um, relic trigger, just so I know where it is. Uh, in fact, I'm just gonna call the geometry entity uh, large relic. All right. Uh, so there's a cool thing here. If we open over here, flow graph. I'm gonna create a new flow graph in interaction, which I've already created before. And now I get a flow graph um, window. So I want to add selected entity, which is our proximity trigger, over here. Now there's a few things we want to do. So when you enter, you want to say you've you're close to this relic. So I'm going to go add node UI. This is custom that uh, someone else, uh, Anthony. Uh, programmed for us, so I'm gonna do. Sh I always forget it. Display uh, update dialog box. When you enter, you want to call this. Oh jeez, enter call and dialog test. Um, uh, what should I put? Uh, press F to pick up. All right, so. If I push this away, should be able to just spawn in game. Oh, sorry. Here. I'm going to spawn out of the trigger. So over right here, I enter it and it tells me press F to pick up. That's good. Now I just want to put... Basically, when I leave it, I want to hide that. So Anthony is, was kind enough to give me another one of those. So functions... Ostrov, and then clear dialog box. When you leave, you want to remove it. So, oh, press F to pick up, and then I walk away, and it disappears. So to do the actual press F to pick up. So I'm gonna just move these here so they're clean. Probably add a comment. Which is add comment, comment box, and I'm gonna put here uh, dialog, just so I know where it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add two logic nodes, all and uh, logic any. Okay, and then I'm gonna add an input node, which is into input key. So in key I'm going to put F as I mentioned logic all and logic any. It seems a bit <laughs> a lot of nodes but you'll understand why. So basically if I press and I've entered I want to whoops should probably want to hide that thing because I've picked it up right? So over here, I'm going to select it and then add select entity. And out, I'm going to hide it. Now this is not good at all, but I'll show you exactly what it does. So if I spawn, I can go in, press F, that's perfect, it hides. But I can also enter, leave, and press F and then it disappears. 
which you don't want. And I can also press F now and then go into it and it disappears. So obviously that is not what we want. We want it to only when you're in it and when you're in it and you press, then you can only pick it up. So I'm going to go ahead and when you release it or where you, when you leave, you reset this condition, which gives you No, can press F a million times, not gonna work. But only when I'm in, I can pick it up. All right. So what else do I wanna do? I wanna actually add it to our uh, inventory, which is something, um, which is a node Anthony gave us, which is pretty cool. So it's in, for us, it's in UI. Com this is custom. Yeah, Ostrov and then add relic. So when I hide it, I want to call this, and I'm gonna add. I don't know. I forget. <laughs> I don't know what number this is. I'll put four. Okay. And when this is done, I actually want to disable this trigger completely. And I think I put it in the right place. Yes, I did. Okay. So let's see how this works. Let's go in, press F to pick up, and then M. See, now I have that thing. I'm not a fan of this thing not disappearing, so I'm going to get rid of that. Over here, I'm going to copy this. And basically, if you press it, you want to hide that. Um, actually not true I have a small blurb here going on about description of what you've picked up so when you press it I'm actually going to put another dialog box which is gonna be here I'm gonna copy that thing we have And I'm going to, after a while, hide it again. And the delay, I can right click on the arrow and do delay and do, I don't know, four seconds. Uh, now let's see how this looks. I can walk up to it, press F to pick up, carving the beast of the blah, 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 blah. And then I have it. I guess I didn't show how it looks before, so I don't have it. The map is broken right now, but yeah. I can walk to it, and then F to pick up, and then I have it. I can see, I can press F a million times, it no longer exists. Um, yeah, so this is a simple how to do some button presses in CryEngine. I hope it's been helpful. If you have any requests on what you'd like me to teach or show what to do, let me know. And yeah, hopefully I'll have time to do some more. Uh, yeah.